In a prior step, when you scanned the NFC tag to add your device to the app, the calibration values were set to match those on the calibration rod label. You can see these values at the top of the Calibrate tab. Before calibration is complete, you will not get matching measurements. If necessary, place the calibration rod into the SW1. Ensure that the end of the rod is tight against the back wall of the cradle. If necessary, fully seat the calibration weight on the end of the rod. If your weight has an up indicator, orient it appropriately. On the measure tab, tap the plus button to add a new measurement group. Place your phone into the cradle, making sure that it's fully seated. To take a measurement, press lightly on the cradle to force the front of the cradle to the left. That's clockwise from above. There's a small arrow on the left spring stop to indicate the release side. Tap the measure button and release it. After the measurement result appears, stop the calibration rod. Remove the weight from the end of the calibration rod. Create a second measurement group by tapping the plus button, and in this group, take two measurements. Always make sure the rod is tight against the back of the cradle. Then, reinstall the calibration weight. Tap the plus button to create a third measurement group, and take a single measurement in this group. To finish calibration, navigate to the Calibrate tab. Ensure that the measurement groups are all satisfied. If not, figure out what is wrong and repeat the measurements. If satisfied, tap the Calibrate button. The calibration result at the bottom of the screen will update. You should now be able to measure the calibration rod and match the values printed on the label. It was measuring 269, but now measures 291, which matches.